the Alabama Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos are children under state law is another step back for reproductive rights in the U.S. In the majority 7-2 decision made by the all-Republican court, Justice Jay Mitchell wrote, unborn children are children, without exception based on developmental stage, physical location, or any other ancillary characteristics. With frozen embryos considered children, this decision has far-reaching impacts for Alabama families undergoing IVF to have a child. IVF often requires the harvesting of many eggs from a woman, then fertilizing them to create multiple embryos. Typically, one embryo is implanted at a time, while the others are frozen for later use or discarded. Under the Alabama ruling, experts are worried about liability. The state's largest health care provider, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, has already suspended its IVF program. In a statement to CGTN, spokesperson Hannah Eccles said, we are saddened that this will impact our patients' attempt to have a baby through IVF, but we must evaluate the potential that our patients and our physicians could be prosecuted criminally. The issue of reproductive rights is highly divisive in the U.S. In terms of the political map, conservative Republican states tend to swing anti-abortion, while majority Democrat states mostly back women's rights to make decisions on reproductive health. However, some Republican states have seen backlash at the ballot box, with voters choosing to support abortion rights measures. Activists on both sides of the argument often go head to head in the streets. And in the courts, especially since 2022, when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that protected a woman's right to an abortion. Advocates and politicians who support reproductive rights have been sounding the alarm ever since about the potential domino effects now playing out in individual states. Poppy and Putin, CGTN, Washington.